you. I mean, I had to pay 80 bucks for Mary Poppins? What the f***? It was then that I realized... It was a world beyond measure. It's Captain Adam's Antique Store Finds. Let's see what this asshole found today. Yeah, yeah. I told you you shouldn't have bought all that stemware. Damn. Hey, greetings, mates. You know, sometimes my travels here out on the high seas of VHS collecting lands me at antique stores. Now, typically, antique stores aren't really known for their VHS collections, so you don't really get a lot of good stuff there. Typically, I usually go to the vast islands of thrift stores to find me treasure hoard. And so... What I found isn't too impressive of a haul, but still pretty good considering I wasn't expecting anything at all. So let's take a look inside the, the goodie bag, bag of madness. The goodie bag of madness. Sorry, didn't mean to be so dramatic. But this is the goodie bag of madness. And this is what I picked up today. So let's see what's inside. First up, pretty interesting piece here. Dinosaurs are very big. You know, I'm a man who likes simplicity, and there's nothing better than a simple title. Dinosaurs are very big, or at least they were. You can see it's a double cassette set. And what do we have here? You can't really see that, but this used to be from an elementary school. So it was from an elementary school library. Saw this, couldn't resist, had to pick it up. It was only a dollar, so not too bad. This apparently has some nice stop motion in it. I'm gonna have to check this out. I'm sure the effects are better than The Phantom Menace. And I found three blank tapes still in the packaging. You got yourself an RCRCA Maxwell. Good shit there. Also comes with three rubber bands. Very good deal for a dollar. And I finally found the first Star Trek movie. I have all the others. Now I have this one. This is the 1989 distribution. Very good shape. I'm excited to have this. Up next is not only another Dinosaurs tape, but also one with a simplistic title with Dinosaurs. And as you can see, it's from the same elementary school library. And the title there is Dr. Know It Owls School Video. <laughs> Dr. Know It Owls, it's pretty clever. But there you go, 50 cents. Get back in that motherfucking case. What the fuck? Come on now. Come on, get back the fuck in. There we go. There we go, buddy. And up next is one I'm pretty excited to have because I've been looking for this one a very long time. One of my favorite horror movies, The Exorcist. Good condition. Price tag sticker on the front, but that's okay. It's a 1991 distribution. Still a scary flick. Or as Beetlejuice would say, it keeps getting funnier every time I see it. So there we go. Glad to have this one. Good find. And up next, last but not least, is Mortal Kombat. Look at this piece of shit movie. It's in fair condition. I just had to have it because, well, it's just kind of funny. So there you go, folks. Antique store finds. Oh, and I also found a 1978 Kermit the Frog figurine. Pretty neat. And I also found these fucking things from circa 19 early 80s, which hopefully there haven't been any booger covered fingers in them. Needless to say, they are staying in the plastic bag. So there you go, mateys. That's Antique Store Finds for Sunday, July 26, 2020. And be sure to hit that subscribe button. Come on now, hit a like button too. Share this stuff. It'd be cool of you. Sure would. And also don't miss season two of Captain Adam's VHS Pirate Ship. Premieres August 16th. Only on the Captain Adam's VHS Pirate Ship YouTube channel. So good night to you and yours and to all all the ships at sea. I'll see you later, mateys.